Peace, peace, peace. It's Rakim with Wise Dome. I just wanted to build on the diaspora wars that we've all seen online. Um, the question I have is, what does Pan-Africanism have to do with ADOS and reparations? Like Pan-Africanism is just the children of the diaspora and the people of the continent becoming unified for one common cause. It even doesn't even mean that we are going to be monolithic in our thinking. It just means that in layman's terms, we got to be down for each other. You know what I mean? But Ados used to go on these rants that Pan-Africanism is dead. And my thing is, what does that have to do with reparations? That's just the cause division. You know what I mean? And just because you can single out a few sellouts on the continent, that's not enough of an excuse to want to sever ties with the whole thing. It makes no sense. That's throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Um, Kwame Nkrumah said that the forces that unite us are intrinsic and greater than the superimposed influences that keep us apart. So we literally have the same enemy, but you want to create a new enemy with the people that look just like you. And that's agent behavior. The same way America created the Negro, colonialism created the same in Africa. So yeah, you're going to have those that don't see the value in a united front on both sides. But y'all let these Johnny Come Lately people come through, create these movements that got you going in on Africans, Jamaicans, Haitians, Cubans, Puerto Ricans, and so on, while you weigh that United States flag in your profile pic. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, we deserve reparations. And yes, it's old to us, but kissing the ass of Western imperialism ain't going to get you what you need. And waving the flag around in your profile pic ain't going to get you that 40 acres and a mule either. You know, and one thing that y'all like to bring up is that Africans on the continent sold us into slavery, but genetically, you are literally the same people. So y'all acting like y'all came to America and became entirely, entirely new people and it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? And how you want to acquiesce to Western imperialism and cut yourself off from the global community because you trust white people enough to give us reparations. But when does the institution not do what's in the best interest of the institution? So in my opinion, you know, what we would have to do, obviously, is convince them why it's in their best interest to cut us a check. But that has nothing to do with cut, cutting ourselves off from our family of the diaspora and the continent. You know, in the God degree in the one to 14, Elijah Muhammad said that the devil wants us to think that we are all different. So I'm a black nationalist. You know what I mean? I'm not an American nationalist in the hopes to get what's owed to me either. You know, and I've seen some of y'all even say that black unity is overrated, you know, but Kwame Turi didn't think so. You know, Elijah Muhammad didn't think so when he said our unity is stronger than an atom bomb you know but we had these powerful men and women already show us what time it was you know what i'm saying but anything that leads us away from the people who showed us we stand on isn't right and exact but y'all too busy letting the devil settle on your book on your best part to see it you know what i mean so you make crazy claims that africans don't like us but when i ask you have you been you know what i'm saying the answer is always no so y'all gotta do better and watch the people y'all have leading y'all you know what I mean? Pan-Africanism isn't anti-reparations. It's anti-division when it comes to Africans and, and, this, and their descendants. You know what I mean? But y'all so damn pseudo that y'all wouldn't understand that because you don't study for yourself. So it's easier to let charlatans come through and wreck your brain and how you going all with your way. You know what I mean? The 85% are led, easily led in the wrong direction and hard to be led in the right direction. You know what I mean? So you know, the way to know that you're being led in the wrong direction is anytime you're being led away from the global community of original original people um, toward the illusion that Western imperialism will honor its treaties and promises. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Like we know the history of, of what these people are and what these people do. You know, um, uh, when and the, my question is when the check comes um, and the wealth gap is closed, like then what? You know, are you going to become good Americans, proponents of Western imperialism? while the original man is fighting oppression all over the world, you know, and it's like what MLK said, an injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. But y'all trade in black nationalism for American nationalism, and that makes you a patriot, you know what I'm saying? That's a wild shit in itself, but y'all got it though, you know what I mean? Peace.